Hello everyone, welcome to the post course C++ 2019 meetup. This is our monthly C++ meetup of our users group. Um, by my count, it's our 15th, but I'm not sure. I think maybe we're, it depends how you count. So maybe we may have some off by one errors. Um, I see a few new faces. Who's new here? Who's first time here? Okay, so about almost half. So I'm, but I'm gonna breeze through this because I've already talked about this so many times before. We were established uh, in November 2017, it was the first meetup. Some of you have, were there already, that's really cool. Uh, we're trying to build the Israeli C++ development, the developers community, because we have uh, a lot of C++ developers in Israel. Most of them are usually hold up in their cubicles and uh, don't really know each other. We're trying to get them to meet each other. Um, if you're wondering about a strange play, uh, positioning or location that we do in our meetups, it's because we want to reach developers from both from the Tel Aviv uh, area and from Jerusalem. And so we try to uh, alternate between Modin and Mabasel, which is slightly closer to Jerusalem. Um, and we're trying to expose the very, very diverse community of C++ develop developers in Israel. Uh, the focus is mostly on C++, so we don't have a lot of .NET or managed or, or dynamic languages here because there are sufficient number of meetups to do that. Uh, and there was a big lack of C++ uh, content here in Israel, so that's why we started this group. We, we talk about a broad range of topics, basically anything any of you is doing is interesting for a talk. Uh, we have monthly meetings. Last month, as maybe some of you don't know, we had a big uh, conference, I'm gonna talk about it in a minute. And the talks don't necessarily have to be expert talks. So if, you're the, if you wanna give a talk, come up to me. Uh, you can do tutorials, you can do short talks. We, can have, we usually have one very short talk of about 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes, and then two full length, one hour talks. So the meetups, even though they're a little bit farther from, from the big centers, uh, they're generally worth the effort because you're getting a lot of high quality content and you get to meet people. So I usually take a census, so I already asked who's here for the first time, so we saw about half of you. Um, who here is looking to hire? All right, now, keep your hands up. <laughs> and, uh, the next question is, that who's looking for a, a new opportunity? You don't have to keep your hand, uh, to put your hands up, but remember the people who put their hands up before, right? So you're free to talk to them. And one thing I really like is uh, to do is, it's called Meet Your Neighbor. Most of you already know it. Basically, uh, turn to somebody you're sitting next to that you didn't come with and tell them uh, who you are, where you come from, and what you, uh, you would have done if you're not at the bar in the last three minutes. Pick it up after the break. So, many of you have already seen this in the original version. This is the retro version. Uh, when I had my goals for the my, my first presentation, the first meetup, I had some uh, slide of stretch goals. And I'm really happy to say that on a year, almost a year and a half after our first meetup, we basically achieved all of the stretch goals. So I think my lesson here is that I'm not ambitious enough. <laughs> um, but my, the last stretch goal, which I really couldn't even imagine that we'd ever get there, is the, the Core C++ conference. And I'm really, really happy to say that we had uh, the first Core C++ conference in Tel Aviv last month. How many of you uh, attended the conference? Cool, so almost uh, all of you. And how many uh, went to the lightning talks? So the, we had a meetup there. Okay, also uh, half of you. And it was an amazing experience, um, but I needed to find some uh, extended stretch goals. So I've been scratching my head <laughs> and thinking, what else can we, can we try to do? Of course, we're still going to uh, keep doing all of this stuff. So we are recording the, uh, this uh, meetup and the meetups will go online. Uh, we will hopefully have more international guests, guests coming to speak. We do work a lot with uh, Haifa C++ guys. Um, and we will have a uh, distributed meetup with the London group uh, in a few uh, in the upcoming months. Um, I'll talk about chapters in a minute. And, and of course, uh, we want to make the Core C++ conference a yearly conference. It's not a one-off. So uh, we're already in talks about Core C++ 2020. Um, it's a work in progress, and uh, more details uh, soon. Um, 
if I'm trying to look for more, even more ambitious goals, and I think it's really important for us to try and reach more, more communities. I mean, I look at the crowd here and I have to say it's rather homogeneous. Um, and I would like to see a more diverse uh, uh, crowd. I want to say, I'd like to see university students, soldiers, high school students, children, and people from more uh, backgrounds. Um, I think that although Israel is such a small country, but still uh, people who live in the, uh, there's a lot of high tech in the Be'er Sheva area, and uh, I don't think many people will make the trip even to Modi'in or Vassar. So it would be really cool if we can have uh, some kind of chapter there or, or occasional meetups there, or at least we'd love to support someone who's going to take uh, this kind of uh, initiative. And I think the last one that I wrote, uh, which is kind of a build-up for Michael's yeah. talk here, is forming an Israeli C++ national body. We're going to talk about it in a minute. Um, and I put the, this ellipsis here because, you know, this is all my imagination. And I, we are, I'm just one and you, there's like three <coughs> people here. And I'm sure you all have some things that you think we can do. And I think the momentum that was built in the past year and a half is amazing. And you can see that from an idea I had one evening, I said, okay, I want to go to CPSS meetups and I'm sick of just watching CPPCon videos on YouTube. And I just opened the meetup account and started this thing and we're now at uh, 928 uh, meetup members. We have lots of followers on Twitter, a lot of subscribers on YouTube. And this is just gaining momentum because there are, there is a need, there is a demand for this type of content and people are getting to meet, meet each other and I think it's amazing. So come up to me, come up to Michael, uh, and there are many regulars here who know how to reach us as well. And let's let's get things moving, uh, because uh, usually all you need is somebody to, with an idea and, and some initiative to push. Uh, that's it. You don't really need to do uh, too much legwork uh, once the momentum gets going. Um, there's a lot of way to find us. We are on Meetup. Obviously, most of you saw, uh, read about this event on Meetup. We have our channel on YouTube where the, the Course of Plus Conference videos are now coming up, right? I think we have maybe half already online, uh, including some lightning talks. You can find our, all the slides on our website here. <clears throat> we tweet uh, regularly and post uh, on social media, I think on, on Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn, actually. Um, we have a dedicated channel on the C++ Slack. And the, yeah, that's the Facebook account. So it's quite easy to find us. If you look for us, uh, you can just come up to us. If, if you haven't met me or Michael personally, come up to us, say hello. We're always happy to meet new people. Um, so I mentioned our conference. It was really, really amazing. Uh, it was a huge success. We were sold out almost two weeks before the beginning of the conference. It took place at the Academic College of Tel Aviv in Yafo, and we had I think at the peak, 370 people, right, Amir? Yeah, which is incredible. I think our most optimistic estimations at the beginning were, we said, you know, maybe we'll get lucky and we'll get 250 people. So I think we were overwhelmed. <laughs> we had some amazing speakers. Uh, some of them spoke here before. Some of them will continue speaking here at our meetup uh, during the year. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're planning and working on uh, Corsica Plus Plus Comic Con. So, uh, keep in touch and stay updated. We had uh, some international speakers, some of, you, uh, you may, some of them you may recognize, and the videos that I said are coming on that. Um, we had 66 submissions for only um, 18 talks, which was an amazing ratio and was very, very difficult because most of them were extremely good submissions. So if any of you submitted a talk and wasn't, weren't selected, doesn't mean the talk wasn't good enough, it, was ju it just meant that they're weak simply didn't have enough slots and we had to do, to get the right balance of topics. Uh, we had two keynotes, uh, five workshops, three conference workshops, 170 attendees and 12 lightning talks. So I think it, these are amazing stats and hopefully next year we're going to see a rise in these numbers as well. So a little bit, uh, uh, just a, a bit of C++ news. So C++ Now videos are coming online. Um, you can find them at this URL. And a few upcoming events for C++ in case you've been, uh, you, you haven't been following. So the summer ISO C++ meeting is happening in Cologne, Germany in July. 
Uh, CPPCon is in the mid September. This time it, it's moving to a new venue in Colorado. Uh, C++ Russia is up is upcoming in uh, at the end of October, and then the fall ISO meeting is November. ACCU and CodeDive and meeting C++ are also in November. So there are a lot of C++ related uh, conferences coming. Um, has anyone here submitted talks to any of these? Okay, well, are you going? Do you accept? Uh, Which one? Which one? CPP fund. CPP okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm waiting to hear from you as well. Um, so there are lots more. And I suggest, you know, go to, you can go to the isocpp.org website. They have this, this, I just copy pasted from there. So uh, check it out there. Yeah. Our sponsors today are uh, Sheltec, which are the venue. Uh, I'll just read the, have a nice summary. So Sheltec's Mobile Business Center offers a range of flexible office and working spaces for small and medium-sized companies, including meeting rooms, individual offices, and shared workspaces, as well as unique training area. They have uh, uh, high-end internet infrastructure, air conditioning, kitchens, espresso machines, and of course the physical spaces. They also offer consulting and administrative services that are essential for the small businesses that start here. And they'll be happy to meet with you. So get in touch with me. I'll put you in touch. If you have an idea, you want to start your own company, and if maybe you live, you live in the region, this is an excellent facility here. Uh, very, very comfortable. And of course, Checkpoint, uh, they've been sponsoring us for quite a while now, sponsoring the refreshments. They're a software company, uh, world's leading cybersecurity provider. They provide the most comprehensive cybersecurity technology to tens and thousands of organizations of all sizes and to millions of users. Uh, they develop in a variety of languages, primarily in C and C++ under Linux, and they're always looking to, for new talented developers to join their team. So if you raise your hand that you're looking for opportunity, we do have, have someone from Checkpoint here. Right? Okay. Well, <laughs> or, or reach out to me and I'll put you in touch with some, with, uh, some other people at the company. Right. So, all right. The agenda for today. Uh, Michael is going to talk about forming an Israeli C++ national body, which I think it's, uh, is super cool. I know several people expressed uh, uh, a lot of interest in this subject. Michael was very helpful for us uh, at the conference. We had some issues with the visas and we went on a long tour of Tel Aviv to collect passports and it was a huge stressful moment just the day before the conference. So we were very grateful. Uh, then Ofu is going to talk about functional style programming. We're going to have a short break, and then Pavel is going to speak about Rust for C++. So I hope you enjoyed the evening. Thank you for joining us. <laughs>